Hi YouTube world, it's Adrienne again. If this is your first time visiting me, hello! Welcome! Uh, this is part three of a series regarding uh, Clarins. I tested 54 products over the course of three months and these are my findings. Um, I have already posted part one, part two. Part one was regarding cleansers, part two was regarding makeup, Part three today is regarding hydrators. Hydrators for me include serums and oils and day and night creams. So if that interests you, if that is something you want to know more about, please keep watching. If you want to know more about my skin type and sort of like the thought process behind this, I did have a longer intro to my part one and I will link part one and part two below just so it's easy for you to find. So uh, take care and I hope you enjoy. We have hit, I think, my favorite category of all the categories. It is hydration. Um, this is the category that sort of really made me fall in love with Clarins, re-fall in love with them recently again when I repurchased my, my most favorite product of theirs, which I think is their most popular product period and I could see why. Um, so there's a lot of variety in this category, but we're gonna just start off with my best friend. Um, and that is the double serum. There's a lot of hype around this. There's a lot of, you know, information out there. It is a wonderful product. I just adore it. Um, it has a great little feature here that you can just dial dial um, how much you want. So you can have like a larger amount or a smaller amount. And it's just the formulation. It's this, has this uh, gel part and this kind of like oil part. And it's just so, so beautiful and hydrating and nourishing and it just makes my skin feel beautiful. I love the scent. It is a strong scent. But this is one of the times that I feel like Clarins, it doesn't feel artificial in any way. It just feels like this delicious herbal floral something. And my skin drinks this up and loves it. And it was the product that introduced me to Clarins, I feel like a decade ago. And um, I just keep coming back to it because it, I think, is my favorite serum. If you have combination skin, dry skin, I think even oily skin, you would really like this. It doesn't leave a very heavy like film, but it does brighten. It does give your skin something plump, something special. I just, I just love this. I love it. It is... Um, it's just special. It's just special to me. I haven't found anything exactly like this anywhere else. And I've tried lots of different brands and I keep coming back to this particular product. And I just repurchased this, when was it? This was in November. This was back when all of this started and I'm already halfway done. I try to not like use this all the time. I've been trying to use other products, but it's just really hard for me. And in fact, I would probably purchase the large one next to this just so that I can get some kind of savings on it. Uh, the Double Serum is one of the more expensive products. You can get one ounce for $90. Um, this size here is $127. Or the 2.5 ounce, which is $161. So again, I understand it's very pricey, but I do feel like it's very, very special. And... I adore it. So I just don't have a lot more to say than that. There's, I, I just love it. I just love it. Another product that I fell in love with, um, which was surprising, was <clears throat> the Toning Lotion by Clarins. This one here, the Extra Comfort Toning Lotion with Aloe Vera. It is alcohol free and it's for dry or sensitized skin. It's this one here, I bought the full size because I went through the samples that I had. I had a few samples. Um, it is so, so soothing. It reminds me of K-Beauty toners. It's just really, really soothing. 
it has some body to it so it's not like it's not like drippy watery it has this sort of like some viscousness to it so when if you're looking to um just dab this on your face kind of like k-beauty toners you don't use a pad and uh, uh like um a cotton pad you would just kind of put this on your hand and tap in um that it has that bit of body because of the aloe vera is it's really really nice i love the scent it's refreshing I, I really enjoy it now the kicker about this product oh and this product actually let me just check the price for you um this is either $27 or $42, depending on what size you get. This one here is the $27 or one. It's uh, 200 mils, uh, 6.8 ounces. Now the kicker about this, they've discontinued this, which is crazy. Um, <clears throat> they now replaced it with this one called the Hydrating Toner Lotion, also with aloe vera, but now it has saffron flower extracts. Um, <clears throat> And it's this one here. I purchased the full size of this as well because I wanted to compare it. And hydrating toners are ones that I actually go through quite easily. So I purchased this and this one has a really strong, strong, almost um, like a rose water orange flower extract scent. So very perfumed. My grandfather <clears throat> is uh, Lebanese. And he used rose water and orange uh, flower water, orange blossom water in in um, in cooking a lot growing up. So it's so familiar to me, this scent. And it, it almost smells cologne-like. It's so refreshing. But I just, I hesitate in skincare why it would be this bright. Um, and this one now is much more watery. But I will say I have tried both of them together and um, this one is just as nice in terms of like how it leaves the skin. I just, I wish they wouldn't have changed it because I still prefer the scent of the old older one and I, pers I, I prefer the, the, um, the texture of it, the fact that it's a little more viscous. It's easier to apply when you're kind of doing that splashing. This is a little too watery and so it can get a little messy. Um, either way, I think they are wonderful hydrating toners, um, but again, I caution on the scent of actually either, and maybe it's worth give, trying a sample just to make sure that you don't have like a bad reaction to it or anything like that. Um, the next up is one that I actually use two full samples of, but pretty big samples. This is the Extra Firming um, day cream it's called the wrinkle control firming day cream and now let's read my notes on this um i thought it had a nice scent lightweight uh it didn't but it didn't particularly um moisturize very well i didn't consider this a good moisturizer at, at all and unfortunately too i did get a a bit of a, a reaction to it i got these little like uh, blisters that that came up it's likely the fact that it has uh, physical or chemical SPF in it homosalate homo is one of them but I don't always have a reaction to that so I was just surprised that with that it was so intense and I still used a lot of it so poo on me I should not have used so much of it if I didn't have such a good reaction to it but um, still nonetheless it, it was, it was, it was, it was just wasn't even a good hydrator. Um, like I felt like after an hour of having it on, aside from the reaction, um, I felt like I had put no, no moisturizer at all on my face. And I felt like I had to kind of start all over. So it had some, some kind of drying effect on me. So I really just did not care for it at all. And I gave it two really good full shots which was like six different applications basically. So it, it was it was a lot. I, I'm, I'm pretty set on how I feel about it for that reason. But if you are interested in um, trying it, let me just see the extra firming day cream is $88. So that's another thing. Like it didn't do anything for me. Plus it's $88. I could find a nicer hydrator that has SPF, like I'm really enjoying the Biosense one. Love it with squalene. 
Um, it hydrates. It protects my skin from the sun. It has zinc, so I don't have any problems there. And it's pretty affordable for what you get. So I just don't think, I, I don't I don't really get the, the extra firming um, kind of product. Let's move on to products uh, or a product that I really, really loved. Um, and that is, and I feel like this is something that Clarence does well, it's the oils. Um, so I tried both the Blue Orchid oil as well as the Santal oil. Both of them, um, well, the Blue Orchid I think is for all skin, all skin types, whereas the Santal is for dry. I like them both. They're both heavily, heavily scented. Um, they have this herby, almost like, health food store scent to them. Um, I love it, but it is not for everyone. But my skin loves this. My skin loves the Blue Orchid and the Santal both. I only, I got the full size of the Blue Orchid to start off with, and I'm, I'm gonna work through that one. Um, but I know I will also invest in the Santal probably when winter kicks off again next year um, or later on this year again on December I will probably be ready to purchase a full size of that but it's it's really lovely super hydrating super nourishing it feels luxurious it feels like I am doing something really positive for my skin it just brings a lot of life to my skin um, $62 for the full size and I feel like it lasts a very long time you need very little it's quite rich and it's great to mix in with a um with a uh, moisturizer that you have and so the moisturizer i like to mix it in with is one of my other kind of favorite finds which is the reboost now this one is also from the my clarence line it is the refreshing hydrating cream they have two others um, in the same type of reboost line that's a cream one is mattifying and one is comforting now i'm i'm actually interested in the comforting one i probably would have picked that one up because my skin does tend to be a little sensitive and i would be curious so that is a product that's in the back of my mind on my wish list for clarence but um this one is lovely lovely it smells delicious it smells like fruit like just fruit with a tiny bit of floral this again is one of those products where they list all the uh, new ingredients in it this one has coconut water and extracts of alpenrose fig acerola seed and goji berry and it's just so nice. It's nice, it's not too heavy, it's not too thick. It's great under makeup and it's a great mixer for the oil if you wanna like make this a night cream. That is my secret. Like this is a great day cream cause it's not so heavy and it layers well and it goes well under makeup. But if I wanna make this my night cream, I just put in a couple of drops of something like this and it takes it to a whole new level. And that's what I love about skincare. I like, I like playing like safe chemistry <laughs> not not like ordinary stuff because i feel like there i can go a little too nuts and i could get a little like unsafe but um i like the safe chemistry like i, I can't do too much harm i'm not gonna like use a bunsen burner and wear like goggles and stuff but i like mixing my products sometimes to achieve like much much more tailored kind of feel to it. Um, the Reboost, just so you know, actually comes in a smaller size in like a travel tube because this is a, a porcelain jar. So um, I, the, the travel tube looks like a really good value at $16 and probably a lot easier to just move around with or just have in your arsenal. But this one here is $26 if you're curious. And I think this is the only one that has the travel size to it. I think the comforting and mat mattifying formulas both only come in this size, if you're curious. Um, another product that I didn't have a sample of and I just kind of jumped in and purchased the full size because I liked what it sounded like and I'm sort of like in the middle with it, is the Plant Gold 
Nutri Vita Revitalizing Oil Emulsion. It's this one here. So it's kind of similar to the double serum in that it has, you know, a different kind of place for the for one product and then the oil and when you when you pump it out um it sort of is like separated you can't really see the oil there but there's like oil little globules um in this and then you just emulsify it now this one here what i liked about it and that's why i purchased it and it was 62 dollars um is that this whole center area for this oil is actually the blue orchid uh, oil. And then this white kind of, um, I don't know, liquid serum, it's like a, a milky serum, is just a moisturizing serum. Now, my issue is that I just find it to be a tad bit heavy, so I have to go light-handed on this. So this also becomes, in a way, a mixer with like a cream or something. Um, and I just thought it was going to be more of a standalone. I thought maybe this white part was kind of going to be like a, a hydrating serum that wasn't too heavy and was maybe a little more gel-like. And then when you drop the oil in, it was kind of going to do what I was doing with my cream and the oil already, but in one like snazzy container. Um, that was not the case. <laughs> this is very, very, very luxurious. Very, very... Um, not thick, but just feel like it, your skin drinks it up, but it just feels like a lot on the skin. If you have super dry skin, I think actually you might adore this. So I will just say that. I just don't have, I have super dryness here, but I don't have dryness everywhere. And so it's just a little harder for me to use that type of product, but still I like it. It's just with a, with a few caveats. Um, let's see what else I have. I tried 14 different kind of like hydrators in, in this, in this group. Oh, let's talk about a couple that I, I was like, huh? I didn't, I didn't like these. I didn't, spoiler alert, I did not like these. Um, and I'm really grateful I actually didn't. So this is the Nutra, Nutri Lumiere Nuit and Jour. This is the day cream and night cream. I had only baby samples. Thank God. Um, the full size of the Jour is $156. This one is $166. I'm so glad I didn't like these because that's expensive for, for what it is. And um, let me see what I had to say. Um, on the Jour, I just, I had an irritation to it. Um, my skin became very, very red. Um, it it left kind of, I, I wrote down split absorption. So what I meant by that is a part of it felt like it sunk in really fast on my skin and another part of it split away from, from, the, from like the mix and like sat on my skin and created this oil film. And it just, it felt like it split. It just split while kind of being rubbed onto my skin. But like I said, it also caused a burn and an irritation on my skin. So there's something clearly not in this, in this um, kind of blend that's for me. Um, the night cream I found also had the same type of like irritation. I didn't really like the scent. I felt it had a very strong uh, fragrance. The texture going on actually was in the in the night cream was nice it was almost like a water cream feel to it like a thick gel but my skin i actually left it on even though it was slightly irritating and i will say just sometimes i use like a chemical peel or or certain kind of elements in my skincare that maybe at first cause a little bit of irritation but that's just my skin reacting to an acid or something so I wasn't sure if maybe there 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 was something in this that was actually one of those components and my skin was just being a little sensitive at first so I did leave this on at all night but I will say I woke up and my skin didn't feel hydrated at all it woke up like really parched, really needing something more. So this is not for me. Um, it This one I kind of feel just because based on the price and the popularity of it and the fact that they've just had this formulation for a long time, I feel like this is just a skin chemistry thing. I feel like maybe those products would be great for some people um, and are probably great for some people, but just 
not for me unfortunately one that i'm sort of like in the middle with is the um gentle day cream for sensitive skin now i was really excited about this one because i like that it was just calling itself out as an anti-pollution sensitive skin you know kind of thing and i was i was excited i used every drop of this um it was okay and but i just felt like even though it was said it, it was made for sensitive skin the scent on this was so strong it was so strong clarence what the hell i just i don't know i think a lot of people who have sensitive skin or i identify themselves as some people with sensitive skin when you read something is formulated for sensitive skin you would think that one of the things that most sensitive skins react to is fragrance and just to have such a strong strong scent i just it's sort of a little bizarre um it was like a mid-weight cream not too thick not too not too thin something in the middle um but really it's it was too heavy for where i would put it into my my routine because I would still need to wear SPF with it. And I love using my serums. I love using a hydrating toner. I love using a vitamin C serum in the day. So there, there that's already too many layers for me. And so um, if I'm using a hydrating lotion, I need it to be a little thinner because I have all of those other layers working for me. And so I couldn't figure out where I would even put it in my arsenal. So that one is sort of like a, mm, I don't know. Um, the next one, and this one, I'm going to put a caveat to. I had a very small sample of it. It's called the Extra Firming Phyto Serum. Um, this one, it had a nice texture. It definitely had a scent to it. Um, again, I'm not like, I don't seek out products that are firming necessarily. So it wouldn't be something I would necessarily want to try out but I don't think it's fair for me to speak on it uh, because I feel like it was too small of a sample and I feel like when these type of products you need a good amount to and you need to try it over time to know if it was going to work for you what I can tell you is I didn't have a reaction to it so that's good that means that if I were to start to think about firming as part of a concern of mine that I want to address I would probably pick this up and give it a shot um, because I feel like it, you know, it, it might it might really work quite nicely. And um, the extra firming serum is actually $104. So it's quite expensive. But since I do really like a lot of Clarins serum products, I have the trust that it might actually be effective. So let me know if you've used it before, if, if it's something that you really love. I would be curious to hear about it. Next up is the Hydra Essential um, Silky Cream. This one's middle of the road for me. I think if you have combo skin, maybe even oily skin, you would like it. It has, it absorbs really easily into the skin. It leaves like a um, taut, hydrated feel to the skin. It has like that marine kind of scent to it, which I actually like. Um, it's it's nice. Um, it actually says it's for normal to dry skin, but I just, I don't find it to be exactly as hydrating, or at least when I think of a hydrating cream, I want it to just kind of plump up my skin and it doesn't do that. It, I feel like it tightens more. Um, it's also not the best under makeup. Um, I find that it's a one that it leaves enough on your skin that it sort of like p makes everything pill up. So, you know, Give or, give or take, I, I could see how uh, folks can could like this one. It's $49, so it's also on the more affordable side. And again, I tend to like the products that are in this kind of blue container for um, for Clarins. They tend to like work on my skin. I just, that one again is uh, one of those where I don't know where it would fall into like my arsenal of, of skincare. So the multi-active Jure cream is actually a cream that I have used uh, before from Clarins. Um, I have used a full size of it before. I think that at the time that I used it, my skin, my skin was a lot less sensitive. But now 
and I don't know if it's a combination of just age or living in the environment that I've lived in as long as I have um, New York City the air is quite polluted here um, it's just not as effective as I want it to be it's a very nice texture very light it's great that it has the SPF but again it has that homo salate um, component to it and my skin just doesn't respond very well to it so it's not a product I would uh, necessarily pick up but my 20 30 year old self liked it if that's any testament um the last product here is one that i actually really really liked it's the super restorative um night cream this one is pricey um this one is 137 dollars, and i got this one if you can stag yourself uh, a size like this to give it a good try i would I felt like the scent wasn't too strong. It was a pleasant scent, but it wasn't too over, overly floral. Um, it was very hydrating, but it wasn't oily. It didn't do that split kind of thing like the Nutra Lumiere Nuit or Day Cream did. Um, it dries onto the skin with like a velvet texture. My, my skin felt both plump and firm, which is weird because it's like those two things don't necessarily go together, but they did. And um, it layered really, really beautifully over the double serum. And I felt like doing that, my skin just glowed in the morning. Again, pricey, but it is one that if I got to a point where I'm like, I've whittled down a lot of my skincare and I wanted to really treat myself with a nighttime cream, I would. I would give this one a shot. Thank you for watching. Hydrators. I love, love, love hydrators. It is my favorite, favorite, favorite category of Clarence skincare. And there were some really, really good ones there. And I hope that you enjoyed it. And uh, last but not least, in part four, we're going to be talking about masks, which technically could have gone in the hydrating but I wanted them to sit a little separately, um, but there are some really good ones there too. Eye, eye creams, eye gels. Um, I tried five different ones, so thoughts regarding that. And I have three body care products that um, are worth mentioning. So if that interests you, please subscribe, hit that little bell, so that way you know when part four comes up. And if you have any comments, questions, concerns, use the comments box below. Represent your skin type or products that you love from the line and let us all know. It just helps us all build better content together. I know I, I rely so much on comments when I watch other videos and I love kind of the back and forth dialogue I have with other people. So please, please, please definitely comment below talk about hydrators that maybe I didn't get to talk about. What do you think, what, what haven't I tried that I should try? Because I have a list going already and I have to make a purchase. So um, yeah, uh, let me know. Okay, stay tuned. Bye.